So how to use Google Drawing in order to create one of the wearable book art. Uh, first thing is to get a Google Drawing open, okay? And then I'm gonna go and grab a copy of the book I'd like to use. So I'm just gonna right click over that image and copy that image back to the drawing. I'm just gonna control V and paste it in. Okay, it's pasted. I'm just going to adjust the size a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to upload the image of the t-shirt. And there is one part of the t-shirt, obviously, that has been hollowed out or the, the, the color has been removed. So I'm just going to adjust it so that I can see all that I need to see. Now, I tried very hard to keep in the artists, the authors anyway, name. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller and move this back over so that I can see her name. Still doesn't work for me. Maybe I'll just make her image a little larger. There it goes. I can see Ali Standish. But notice the 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 sides of the T-shirt aren't filled in as much as it could be. So that's a very easy fix. Two things you can do. I can, if I can hold Control Shift and down, it pushes the one layer underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this image and paste it again, and just kind of stretch it out so I can get to the end of the T-shirt and do that again. A neat trick actually to copy and paste is if I hold control and just drag that image that's selected, it automatically makes a second copy. And then I'm gonna push it behind and push the other image behind. And I'm gonna raise this image. So now I have the t-shirt pretty much filled in. You can see there's one little corner that may just need a little bit of adjusting. So I can easily just switch it around a bit. Now, the other way that I could do that too is by using the, to add color, is to use the Google Chrome um, extension called Color Pick Eyedropper. And when I click on that and hover over a color, I can grab that HTML code and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going. And then you have to escape to get out of that mode of the I the picker. And I'm going to insert just a shape, just a little shape, right here. And of course, it's the wrong color, so no problem. Click on custom, and paste in that HTML code. And then it goes to a good coloring, uh, close to what the what the what the what the eyedropper picked. And then I also want to make sure that it automatically stores my custom color here. So I'm going to do that so that the outline is the right color as well. And then I'm just going to push it into the back. So if this outside image were pulled down a little bit, go up, you could see the color behind it. But stretching it out and shaping the T-shirt actually made it easier to, to duplicate the colors underneath. So it's all good. Now, the other thing that you need to do is you need to make sure I'm going to control A to select everything and then just drag it down within the box of my Google drawing. And in the corner here, you can see that I can stretch it and bring it over to grab exactly what I need. Now, um, actually, I need to go back and just stretch it out a little bit again because I need some more white space in there so that I can add some text. But remember, this is a transparent background, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in another shape. Full and color it white and also color the, the border white. So that just gives me room to write. Now I'm just going to add a text box. And I can put in the text that I'd like to say. Okay, so 
Ah, uh, that's what I want to say. I'm just going to stretch out my text box so that it kind of fits a little bit better. And then I'm going to just adjust my font. Okay, and make it a little larger. Maybe even center it. Okay. Perhaps, eh, I don't know if I like that font or not, but let's just change it to something different then. So many fonts that you can choose from. A little bit too fancy for this book that, uh, but it's up to you. This is completely your design. Make it bold so it stands out. Um, you can highlight certain words, change the coloring a bit, even just to match. And then I also add in my, I'd wear this book for sure, or something there, um, by simply just adding another text box. Sizing it and changing the font, center it, or however you'd like to design it. It's all up to you. I think if you use this Google drawing, you can get your students to create one as well. Okay. That's it. And then, well, not quite. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. Ethan. I'm going to file, download as a JPEG image. And it automatically takes that name and names it for you and save. And now share it on your social media source. That's it for doing it with Google Drive.